Hi, welcome to a new tutorial for Lip Sync Pro from Robo Digital. In this episode, we'll be looking at the clip editor and how to create facial animations either manually or using AutoSync. The first thing you need to do to start creating a clip is to open the clip editor. You can either use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt A or go to the window Rogo Digital Lip Sync Pro Open Clip Editor. From here you have two options. You can either start adding phonemes manually or you can run it through AutoSync. Now AutoSync doesn't always produce brilliant results. So that's why we recommend that you use it as a guide first, and then clean it up manually afterwards. To use AutoSync, you first need to add an audio clip into the file. So we can click this and just choose whichever clip we want to use. Now if you followed uh, Tutorial 0 and have everything set up correctly, then AutoSync should be ready to use. If not, follow that tutorial first, and then come back. You can start by pressing auto-sync in the menu and just pressing start. A useful feature of the clip editor is the real-time preview option. This can be really useful when manually editing because it will let you see what the animation will look like before you've finished. You can turn this on by clicking the eye icon over here and choosing a character in the scene. If I just drag this out of the way you can now press play and you'll be able to see what AutoSync's uh, results look like. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. So as you can see, it's not great, but the next update for LipSync will actually include some improvements to this, so by default the results should look better. But even with that, you'll probably still have to do some cleanup afterwards. The other approach, and it's one you'll need to use a bit anyway, even when using AutoSync, is manually adding phonemes to your clip. If I just go and open a new file here, you can add phonemes in a couple of ways. You can either right click anywhere in the timeline along here, and choose which phoneme you want. Or you can set the playback to a certain time and click Add Phoneme in the bottom toolbar. There's also a number of keyboard shortcuts. You can find these and customise them in the settings window here, which also contains a number of other useful settings. By default, there are keyboard shortcuts set up for adding each of the phonemes and they're usually Control, Shift, and the first uh, letter of that phoneme. So if we set the playback to a certain time, I can then press Control, Shift, A, and get an A phoneme. You can also drag phonemes around the, the timeline, and you can select multiple ones and drag them as a group. From the right click menu, you can change the phoneme to a different one, or you can delete it, or set the intensity from here. The lower the intensity of a phoneme is, the less pronounced the shape will be. So in this animation, it goes to full there. But if I set this to a really small amount, just move a bit like that. If I change this to be the same as the previous one, you can enable phoneme sustain on the first marker by right clicking and checking sustain marker. This lets you hold a certain phoneme over a period of time, so it can be useful for shouting or singing or long vowel sounds. Once you've got your clip set up how you want it, you can go to the file menu and press save or save as. Save this as. The resulting file can now be used on any lip sync component. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll go over the last couple of features of the clip editor, and then it's onto more specific videos about 
using with Cinema Director and other integrations. If there are any videos you want me to make, just let us know in the comments and I'll do my best to make them.